two, one. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Junior Golf Podcast. I'm your host, Ro Thompson. Man, we got a special guest in the building tonight. Um, man, you know, I, I've known Justin probably now for about six, seven years or more. Um, he's, he's, you know, he's kind of helped us out a lot, uh, navigate through uh, South Carolina Junior Golf. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's my pleasure to finally have him on the podcast. And um, I'd like to welcome everybody to the podcast, Mr. Justin Fleming. Hey, Justin. How's it going, Ro? Thanks for having us. Hey, man. Thanks for, thanks for agreeing to being on, man. It's a, it's a pleasure. Um, you've, you've done a lot for the, for, the, for the game of golf in South Carolina, and um, everybody appreciates what you do. Now, they may not say it, but I'm going to tell you on the live podcast that, man, we appreciate everything you do <laughs> for the game of golf in South Carolina, okay? Thank you. All right, man. So tell us, so tell us a little bit about your, a little about yourself before we get into the golf and all of that. Tell us a little bit about yourself. So I grew up, uh, you know, like all kids playing all sports. And, um, I guess early on about 12, I realized baseball and golf didn't mix very well. And so, uh, chose to stick with golf and, you know, some of my first memories were South Carolina junior golf. I played in the uh, chapter program, which is now the Hootie and the Blowfish junior golf series. Um, and that was up in the Greenwood area. And it's kind of funny because I work with James Park in the office. He's He works for the South Carolina Golf Association and is kind of our uh, handicapping specialist. And he and I played a lot of junior golf together, like 13, 14, and now we work together. So it's kind of funny how the game of golf keeps you connected to that, to your friends you make for the rest of your life. So, um, you know, it's just, it's funny that my memories of, you know, growing up are all junior golf and a lot of these events that are 25, 30 years old. Now I was playing in the first couple of them, which is kind of sad, but right. kind of at the same time. So good. Now, how, now, now in terms of your golf game, how, how were you, were you pretty good, pretty good junior golfer? Not really. I mean, I was just probably middle of the pack. I mean, the best yeah. I was going to shoot was 78, you know, okay. on 18 holes or so. But, um, you know, and back then we didn't have all the tournaments we have now. So we had our right. local chapter stuff and we had our big events, the state junior and the CGA had their junior championship and a couple other things. But now it seems like there's five events every every day on the week in the summers, especially. <laughs> it sure is. It sure is. Y'all have done an, an excellent job with that. And we'll get into that in a few minutes. But so tell us how you got started with the South Carolina Junior Golf Association. So I in college, um, I would come back home. I would I worked at Greenwood Country Club. And yeah. like everybody else that gets in the golf business, I was a cart guy that moved up into the shop and different things like that kind of just every summer I'd come home and work at Greenwood country club. And back then the Pee Wee championship was hosted by Greenwood country club. And so I met Paul Ruyard and Chris Miller back then, um, in the summer running that tournament and they ended up needing someone the next summer I graduated college and they called me and just asked me if I wanted to come work with them. That was a long time ago. That was 2002. Okay. Believe it or not. So that's 20 um, years. Wow. 20 years this cool. June. <laughs> okay. So. That's all right. And so, so talk to us a little bit about the association. What is the, what is the South Carolina Junior Golf Association all about? So the South Carolina Junior Golf Association is housed with the South Carolina Golf Association, which is the men's association. They um, have their own major championships um, and they house the handicapping in South Carolina. Um, and also the South Carolina Junior Golf Foundation um, junior golf was started in 1990, um, and the foundation followed there shortly after, and they raised funds for scholarships, um, other junior programs across the state, first tee, hook a kid on golf. We have our own par grant that helps people, um, uh, that need financial assistance, uh, yeah. scholarship into our tournaments, even for their travel and accommodations and things like that. And so, um, we're all in the, in the same office. We've got three junior golf employees right now. Okay. But we have a ton of volunteers across the state. Um, wow. A lot of good people make us look pretty good. <laughs> that's that's so. good, man. Y'all, like I said, y'all done a lot for the, for junior golf, and I remember. I don't know if you remember this or not, but John started in the um, 
God, what's that name of that program y'all had like 15 Probably years Little ago. Legends, maybe. Oh man, the Little Legends was the stuff. I mean, that's <laughs> where that's where John started in the Little Legends. He was with the um the program over at Northwood with uh Josh. Um God was Josh, Josh May. Josh May, yes. He yeah. started up there with Josh May. So he he's been in the program since he was about three or four. So he's he's been with y'all for about 11, 12 years. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. That's so awesome. how do you become a, a SC JGA member? So uh, just go to our website, scjga.org. Um, we've got a membership link on there. And membership is, uh, general membership is $30 a year, and that's January to December. Okay. Um, that membership gives you access to um, our major championships and um, all of our one days and player series events. You get a packet in the mail, you get a bag tag, a sticker, a player mm -hmm. card, and then that player card gives you access to courses all over the state, uh, different discounts, but it also makes you a member of the, um, uh, God, my mind just went blank here, uh, youth on course. And yeah, so, that's right. It's free. It's concluded. Yeah, it's free for mm -hmm. uh, South Carolina junior golf members. And it's a, it's a nationwide program that also gives discounts at courses all over. Um, I think it's five dollars around at the different facilities. That's correct. You know, the only problem with the with the youth on course, Justin, is that What's Columbia, that? we don't have any courses that 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 um that uh, participate in Columbia. Really? Mm hmm. So I that might be something that. might be something, you know, you, you may be able to look into for us. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Northwoods, Northwoods, the spur was the last uh, course that participated, but they said they okay. were going to kind of get away huh. from it. So yeah, look into that for us. So um, great membership. And of course you have the summer series as well. Um, talk, now talk to us about, you've got this new player series that y'all just came out with. Yeah, so we've, before, I guess before I go into that, I'll mention we've got um, our summer series, which is right. the Hooting the Bluffish series, which is, you know, kind of where I got started. And that is, it's just a summer program. Um, we've got 14 regions across the state. So we've got one in Columbia, we've got uh, Aiken, Mount Pleasant, Charles, you name it. They're all the big metropolitan oh, areas. All over. Kind of a home base. Mm -hmm. That does, it, it allows juniors um, ages eight to 18 to compete locally against local, you know, their local age group and gender and have some local success. And those are typically on Mondays in the summer. Right. Um, and they have anywhere from, you know, some areas only have four to six events and some have 10 or 12. And, you know, there's a points system with that, uh, depending on how you play each week and you play all summer long and our top two players from each division locally go into an all-star tournament. And so that's a great place for people. I think about juniors, uh, boys and girls that play on their high school team and maybe haven't cracked that top five, that starting five. Right. That's a great place for them to kind of continue the game throughout the summer and keep that competitiveness going. Um, but this player series we started, we really needed it for a while. And, and that's something that I've kind of wanted to do for a while. We just haven't really had the staff to do it. And we just really honestly probably haven't had the guts to try it. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it's easy. become, the game has become so popular and our major championships, which are completely separate. We have 18 of those a year. Mm -hmm. um, those are like travel baseball. So we've, I mean, if you're on, if you're listening and you're a junior golfer, you know, there's tournament, it's hard to get in these major championships. Some are easier than others, but some are really hard. And so I just got tired of um, answering that phone call on, well, what can we <laughs> get play? In. you know, and yeah. if, and we were turning away sometimes 200 kids. And so that's an opportunity. Yeah. Um, and we felt like one, it's an opportunity for us to be the answer and have a place for them to play. Right. And two, we could kind of use it and use those events, create the series called the player series and create a ranking system for that and offer exemptions into our majors the following year. And so we've kind of followed the Corn Ferry Tours um, mm. system and setup. So, you know, if a player wins a tournament, they're going to automatically be exempt for the rest of the year in that series. Um, and we're giving them exemptions this year on the 22 calendar for about three or four tournaments. And then, um, at the end of the season, we're going to take the top point earner in that program, kind of player of the year, and he's going to – or she is going to be exempt for all of our majors next year with the exception of one national event, which is really big. Um, that's going to get them in the Junior Heritage, the Blade, the Players' Championship, all these tough events to get into. And so 
Good. We're excited about it. We're going to have 11 tournaments this year. We're also going to throw, we're going to um, add an event that we kind of got away from the four ball. So it'll be a team event on the schedule, which should be fun for those players. Um, okay. So we're kind of doing two things at once. We're, we're giving a player a place to play that might get turned away normally so they can kind of work on their game, but also they actually earn something from it instead of just playing golf. So we're excited. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, John did did pretty de decent in the first one. I think that was at Fort Jackson, if I'm not mistaken. And then uh, we had Fripp. Now, Fripp was a yeah. whole different animal. Yeah. It was 40 degrees, 40 mile yeah. an hour winds. It was just a, a different beast. But, you know, you got to get got to get used to playing in, in all types of weather. So that's right. You know, so there you go. So um, so the player series is out. Um, and then y'all have the, uh, the BMW Pro-Am Junior Clinic. Well, yeah, that's something new that um, it's, you know, I would just say anybody listening that uh, likes uh, golf in general, um, okay. the BMW Charity Pro-Am, we've never really had a presence. We've been a part of clinics in the past and we've gotten away from it. And so right. those folks reached out to us this year. And on Tuesday of the BMW Charity Pro-Am, we're going to do a junior clinic up at Thornblade. Okay. Um, it's going to be a South Carolina Junior Golf Clinic. Okay. Um, we're getting some sponsors involved, and so if you're in the area and want, to, we would love to have any junior up there that day because we'll, you know, it won't be anything crazy over the top, but it'll be at 5 p.m. that day. We're actually okay. that's the first round of the Upstate Junior, so we're going to be in Smithfield running up one of our anyway. majors. Okay. Um, but uh, those juniors could come. Uh, okay. we're going to have hopefully some of our former players that are on the corn Ferry tour helping us out with that clinic. And it would just be a cool experience to kind of almost get inside the ropes and, and right there and watch some of these pros hit balls up close. Okay. Okay. I'll put that definitely. Put that I think on the that's schedule. Tuesday, June the 7th is one. Right. Day. And is that in, is that an easily, if I'm not mistaken? Well, the tournament we're running is in easily at Smith. Okay. Okay. The actual BMW Charity Pro-Am is going to be at uh, Carolina Country Club in Spartanburg and Thornblade over in Greer. Okay, okay. And, that, and Thornblade's where the junior clinic will be that Tuesday. Right, okay, good, good, good. And um, y'all got y'all y'all got something going on at the Heritage as well? Yeah, and that one, um, that's just, again, if you're down in that low country area or if you plan on coming to the Heritage, um, the South Carolina Golf Association, um, okay. We have a sponsor's tent on the 18th hole. And so part of what we're going to do is we're uh, we've always helped out with their junior day. Um, and so that's another way for juniors to kind of come in, get inside the ropes. They actually come up on the putting green where the pros are and get to roll a few putts, uh, get a few prizes, giveaways. And we usually get a couple of pros to come help the kids kind of work their way through that, which is kind of cool. Man, um, that's it. That's going to be a great experience. Yeah, that's a real cool experience. That's Tuesday. Um, I don't know the exact time on that, but that's Tuesday of the Heritage, and I'm sure there'll be some information on our social media post. Yeah, that's good. John did the um, he did the Heritage one year as the uh, the um, bearer standard bearer. Yeah. So yeah. he 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 was able to get inside the ropes um, with uh, Sam Saunders. Um, that's cool. And one more guy, I can't, I can't remember the name of right now, but he's, uh, he was able to, to walk with them for 18 holes. Um, he didn't really like the carrying the, 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 the post the whole time, but he, yeah. he enjoyed the experience. It was a really good experience that's cool. um, for him. And, um, yeah, we're trying to get down there, uh, for spring break. Cause you know, that, that the heritage is, um, uh, most spring breaks, uh, yeah. this week. So we're trying to get down there, um, because we typically are, are down there during the heritage. And um, so we're just waiting on a call to, to get down there as well. So cool. looking, looking forward to that. And um, y'all got a new logo too, right, Justin? We do. And I wish I could show it to you. I don't know how to, how I'll show it to you now, but yeah, we, okay. um, we've had, we had a junior golf logo that um, Paul Ruyard created and, and it was a great right. logo and we kind of got away from it for a couple of years and, uh -huh. and we got a new logo that was more of like a letterhead logo and we had a hard right. time it on our giveaways and so we got away from that okay for a while we were using the golf association logo which is the tree everybody knows the south carolina golf association tree is kind of an iconic logo right and so we wanted something that we could use um to put on a hat and things like that and so it's we're excited about it we're um waiting on some hats as we speak so we've ordered a bunch of hats with and the the cool thing about it is hard to visualize especially without saying i don't have yeah. any problem. You, yeah, I, I made you two leave. logos in one i yeah. made you i made you a co-host too so if you 
if you could share it, you, you're more than welcome to. If you familiar with Zoom, there's a share button at the bottom. And if you want to just share, if you have the logo pulled up and if you want to share your screen, you're more than welcome to. Yeah. <clears throat> so I made you I made your co-host. I don't know if I could pull that off. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. I'll, I'll put it up on the uh I'll put it up on the uh, South Carolina Junior Golf page and okay. And we'll, yeah, we'll I'll send it over to you. Okay. And so, so Justin, let me ask you this before we get to a couple more questions. Mm -hmm. um, do y'all have like uh, intern positions or any positions that y'all uh, y'all are looking to hire some people on? Yeah. So I mentioned this player series, and we are we're you know we're not only growing uh, with more tournaments. With that, we need more staff, and so. Um, we're actually looking to hire a full-time position right now. Um, we've got it posted on a couple of places, um, but we need a tournament director, kind of an entry-level position, like I came on board back in 02. Um, but we're looking for a full-time uh, position on the junior golf staff, and we're also looking for an intern that would start in June. And that could be three to six months, depending on the person and the situation, that would also be a tournament uh, person. So looking for two people right now. Okay, good, good, good. And um, and how can how can our listeners um, follow you um, on all the platforms? Are, are y'all on Instagram? Are y'all on all the? Yeah, social we were on Instagram, on? Twitter, and Facebook at SCJGA. Okay, good, good, good. So we'll, our listeners will be able to follow you. All right. So Justin, um, anything else you like um, our listeners to know? This is going to go out all, all, on all the, a lot of different platforms all over South Carolina. Anything else you'd like to, uh, our listeners to know about the South Carolina Junior Golf Association? No, I mean, we, um, you know, we would love to have you as a member um, in one of our programs. You know, I think the beauty of our association is we have something for everybody. And if we don't, we try to turn you on to who does. And so we just did a, um, we had an event where we spoke with the, uh, uh, gosh, U.S. kids. And okay. so we don't have a lot for kids 12 and under and in our events you have to play on your own you know your parents can help you the little ones can carry close between holes but you don't get caddies so um if you're ready to make that next step to competitive golf we probably have a place for you as long as you can carry your clubs and you know pick your own shots and that sort of thing so we'd love to have you and if um like i said we do have a foundation and so if uh, the expense of the game is something that holds you back, you know, I grew up that way and probably could have played in a lot more tournaments if I'd have had a little help. And I did have help from some people. Yes. So I always yes. like to plug that. I wouldn't, don't let that hold you back. You know, we right. can get, um, we can get you into our tournaments. Don't let finances hold you back. So that's, that's really good. That's really good, Justin, because uh, it, it is expensive and um, you know, it, it's a, uh, it's, it's one of those things where you have to look at lessons, you have to look at equipment, you have to look at, you know, registration, you have to look at hotels. So you do have mm -hmm. to look at a, a, a lot of stuff when it comes to junior golf. Um, yeah. Let me ask you this. What's, what are the chances? I know you've had the hoodie and, and the blowfish series for a while. And I think I asked you this before. What are the chances of hoodie and the blowfish coming to one of the events so all the juniors can meet hoodie and the guys? <laughs> Uh, you know, that's out of my pay grade right there. <laughs> I wish I could answer that and give you a firm yes. Um, I know, right? <laughs> you know, we're fortunate that uh, Hootie and the Blowfish, Monday after the Masters has been so good to South Carolina Junior Golf. They're probably the biggest supporters of ours financially. And as a matter of fact, I know they are since inception. Wow. And they're so good to us. Um, we go down and we help um, help them with the Monday after the Masters. And Beautiful. You know, that's as close as we get. So okay. yeah, <laughs> that partnership and uh, we look forward to going down and helping out, but you know, that's something that that's something that we should maybe work on. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How that we could pull that off. Cause it's hard to get all in together at once, but oh, yeah. uh, unless it's a concert, right? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, so you, um, you know, Darius is down for the collegiate uh, Darius Rucker mm -hmm. is down there for the collegiate and Hilton head. So that was a great, that was a great tournament down there. Yeah. Yeah, so I have to get down. I have to get down to to one of the mass the Monday after the masses. I haven't had a chance to experience that yet. That is a fun event. I I'm looking forward to it because you know they haven't had it the last two years because of COVID. Yeah. And I think this year is going to be still a little different, but kind of trending in the right direction. So we're excited. Yeah. 
yeah, I'm, I'm excited about those numbers coming down. So yeah, yeah we're looking forward to it. And we, we do have a guest um, on. Um, I wanted to open it up if we had any guests. Um, uh, I think Richard, Richard, you have any questions for Justin? Hey, Justin, how are you? This is Richard Lambert, uh, first time here. And uh, wondering, do you all work with the PGA management programs in South Carolina for hiring staff? Uh, we have, um, we used to have a real good contact with Clemson's PGM program, and I think they've done away with that program, so we've kind of lost that connection, but we did, because, you know, we would hire interns, and we would send it to him to, to get out to his guys or girls, and, um, but I, I'm not working with one directly at the moment. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks for being on, Rich. All right, so Justin, man, again, this has it's been a pleasure. Um, uh, again, I want to thank you for everything that you've done for South Carolina Junior Golf and, and John's career. Um, hopefully he can uh, get into college and, you know, maybe take it a little bit further. You know, he's, he's going into his freshman year uh, at Spring Valley and, uh, you know, they start, um, I think, next week. They got a scrimmage this week. And then, of course, he starts next week. So uh, we're looking forward to having a, a really busy year. With, with, with the South Carolina Junior Golf Association, man. So appreciate everything you do, okay? Thank you. Thanks for having me on tonight. Hey, you're welcome, man. Thanks for coming on, okay? You got it. Thank All you. All right. All right. Have a good night.